to geolocate on him mm -hmm. and then go after him. They said he, he called in some bomb threats, but the AP is now suing them for doing this because they made it look like it was a, an AP article. So, right. and, and here's the FBI director says, we do not use deception or we do use deception at times to catch crooks. <laughs> at times. Just, you know, it's just the way we do it. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, sure that was the only time though that that's. Oh yeah, they don't, they don't do it any other yeah. time. Not with informants, not with anything else. Hey, so let's go to Stephen in Florida. You've been holding the longest war against each other in the Planned Parenthood. What do you have to say, buddy? Yeah, hey, good afternoon. Hey, uh, first of all, Rob, I just wanted to say <clears throat> I hope you understand that you're sitting next to the most attractive and intelligent woman in the media in America today. <laughs> so, oh, that's very well, sweet of you. Get that out of the way. <laughs> make me blush. Um, here's what I... I'm sorry, here's what I wanted to say. I sent you a lengthy email yesterday, and I wanted to just mention part of what I said for the uh, listeners' uh, benefit. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the connection between this whole war that they're now pushing and Jade Helm and Planned Parenthood and what's come out about them. I follow this. Jakari did a report about two months ago on Jade Helm, really, really good. And then when Alex came back on, it was a pre-recorded report. Alex came back on and gave his commentary, and he made this statement. And when he said this, boy, this really clicked to put a lot of the pieces together for me of what's been going on. Uh, he said that what this is, Jade Helm is about with Master of the Human Domain is a round, using the military to round up Americans. Now, what is... Monsanto, who's you guys are covering a lot, mentioned it today, the GMOs and all what they're doing, nanotech. What is their flagship product called? Roundup? <laughs> Roundup. Oh, my okay. God. Now, oh. okay, which is what? It's a weed what killer. It as? Yeah, it's a weed killer. A weed killer. Yeah. Now, Margaret Sanger, the founder of Planned Parenthood. Called Black People Weeds. Made it clear that yeah. one of her, her reason for founding that organization was eugenics, which she termed as exterminating the what? The, the weeds. The weeds, yeah. the human yeah. race. Okay. And now you look at what's coming out with Planned Parenthood with all these videos. You put that all together and what you've got is I really have come to the conclusion of believing that GMO not only stands for genetically modified organisms, but global military or murder operation. Wow. Mm. Hey, Steve, that is very astute. Wow. Thank you. I'm going to uh, check. So resend your email blown. again. If I didn't respond back to it, I'll check it out. And I'd like to look at more of what you have to say. Thank you for that very much. Let's go to Zach next. He's in Virginia. He's got talking about a new ISIS video. Zach, what's going on? Hey, Robin. How are you doing? I'm fine. Um, it's about an hour long video and you know it starts out talking bad about the financial reserve and it talks about you know the fractional reserve banking and then it gets on to you know just everything that you know us libertarians you know see as uh issues but sure. then, you know, that's probably like, cia yeah. that's probably cia made i haven't watched it yet mm -hmm. but to start discrediting the liberty movement saying we're in league with isis because that's a narrative they want to push but continue well and they're pushing their own money right go 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 ahead zach on paul it like has a, a snippet of Ron Paul using Ron Paul kind of as like a guy they should look to. And then it shows the InfoWars uh, report with, uh, you remember the documentary with Edward Griffin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has that exact video, you know, cut and put into this uh, video. You know, the dinar, how they're minting the gold dinar? Right, right. right. It's, yeah. kind of, it's, a, it's the ISIS video to kind of, you know, promote them like they're handing out their coins, you know, the citizens who they clearly bribe to, you know, say they love it. Oh yeah, that or well, of course, headed. yeah, die or, or say say you love it or get thrown off a roof or getting put into a firing squad. Yeah, that that is all uh, created to to give the impression that the liberty movement is in league with ISIS, which is something right. that the sheriffs groups are even talking about in some of these states, like the sheriff up in uh, and, uh, Spokane, Washington. Yeah, that those radical ideas are all one. right. Yeah, and, and that's complete. That's further from the truth. Getting rid of the Federal Reserve is a terroristic idea. Right, exactly. That's to make anybody that wants to say the Fed is bad and go after them. All right, so we're going to be back, and we're going to get into this ninth Planned Parenthood video and tie it into the whole eugenics operation with what they do to these poor preemie babies when they're born after they want to inject them with disgusting, toxic vaccines. It really makes me sick what they're doing. It's the Lover Drive Hour with Rob Dew and Leanne McAdoo. We're Fire sitting will. here uh, firing at will. <laughs> we'll be right back. 
That's right. We are live. It's the fourth hour of Overdrive of the Alex Jones Show. I'm Rob Dew, riding shotguns, Leanne McAdoo. And, uh, you know, our, our last call, that uh, the caller before the last one, Steve, really brought it all together, how Roundup, GMOs, Jade Helm, how it all kind of ties together with this weed control. Weed extermination. And, yeah, and yeah. that's how they see us. They really do. They, they see the earth as this Garden of Eden. And they are the chosen ones, and we are the ones that need to be culled. We're the weeds. And that's the fight that we are up against. And, um, you know, people may not believe it, but just do the research for yourself. Uh, a good place to start is in-game. And, you know, one way to start fighting this stuff is to get in your, get in your body healthy, and that's cleansing yourself out of all the, the nasty stuff that's inside. And this is a product that we came out with uh, a few months ago. We just got it back in, Deep Cleanse. And the first ingredient on here, Sheila G. Uh, it is an amazing, it, it's like, um, say if the earth was a giant like press and it was pressing out like, uh, you know, like a resin substance that has all kinds of ingredients in it and that are, that are good for you, that do things like, you know, chelate your body, cleansing, all, all that type of stuff. That is what Sheila Jeet is. That's the number one ingredient in deep cleanse. And I actually sat down with Dr. Group. A, uh, about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, and we did a video about uh, the blood of the mountain. See if you, can y'all pull back and show them the title of that so people can uh, who are watching on Infowars.com forward slash show can actually go and check out that video for themselves because this stuff really, it comes from the Himalayas. They scrape it off by hand and get this kind of resin that is pressed from the rock. Secret rock blood of the Himalayas revealed. And uh, that's on the Infowar. That's a... Uh, uh, one of our, su our sub channels, but you can also find it on the Alex Jones channel. Didn't Dr. Group say he was actually searching for that ingredient for over 10 years? It, really yeah. intense. It, exactly. It doesn't just it. it doesn't just walk its right. way out of the mountains. You exactly. really have to uh, to plan ahead. Uh, this just, just came out on Infowars.com from Kit Daniels. Democrats hire illegal alien to recruit new voters. No wonder this nation has a border and illegal alien crisis, Judicial Watch said in its response. So that just came out. I haven't even looked at this yet, but uh, it says DNC hired Cindy Nava with full knowledge of her undocumented status. The government watchdog reported, pointing out that federal law prohibits foreign nationals from contributing directly or indirectly in the decision-making process of federal, state, and local election-related activities. You covered that last night with a Project Veritas video, didn't you? Yes, that they were. Uh, there was a Canadian woman that wanted to buy some uh, some merch there at Hillary Clinton's biggest campaign event yet, and that is um, seen as foreign money being put into the campaigns because merchandise is seen as a, you know, it's a campaign donation basically. So, in order to skirt past that, she handed the money to an American woman and let her make the purchase. Exactly, and it was. Uh, Hillary's compliance manager who was who right there. Who made it all, said yeah. it was all good. So this is the first event on the compliance manager. Little did they know, Project Veritas was there with the hidden camera to they showcase were the, she the was chicanery. The American. I know, she was the American. It was ridiculous. <laughs> all right, now let's get something serious. Oh, by the way, we're going to have the money bomb on September 16th. That's another way you can support us. We are getting ready to do a major expansion. Uh, we're actually going to redo uh, one of the old studios. The, the first nightly news studio, we're revamping it. And we're going to be launching this baby, four hours of the Alex Jones Show, one hour of the nightly news starting. That's going to be our starting point, our launch point to go on satellite. So everybody around the nation could pick this up on their television set. Yeah, spreading the word. One way to break the paradigm is to get people thinking outside the box and not just confined to the left-right paradigm mantra that were uh, sold from yeah. Fox News and CNN and MB MSNBC and all those of, of those. Well, of and now. that's why we can talk about the Planned Parenthood story because we are funded by... The viewers like you. And the viewers want to hear about stuff like right. this because they're sick and tired of it being pushed under the rug and not covered by the mainstream media. Exactly. Here it is from Steve Ert, uh, Ertlet uh, from Life News. Ninth shocking video, Planned Parenthood sells intact aborted babies. One just fell out of the womb, and we're going to go to that clip first. But Leanne, let's, before we do that, recap the other videos, there's eight other videos that each one seems to just get more shocking as they come out. Right. Well, the ninth one was just released. So you'll recall, you know, they talk about being really good at getting the heart, lungs, and liver. Uh, then we had another. Not crushing the head. Yeah, we don't crush them. You know, a less crunchy technique is what we'll use. The other, the next, the second video, the lady said that she wanted a Lamborghini. That yeah. was the big hashtag trending on Twitter. 
Uh, then in the third video, we saw former STEM Express employee Holly O'Donnell talking about how she fainted in horror over handling baby legs and all these parts. Um, and then in the fourth one, they talk about how they don't want to, you know, sell these baby parts for a flat fee of just like 200 bucks per item works better because then they can see how much money they can get out of it. Um, and then the, the fifth video, uh, they just basically are talking about how good they are at getting intact fetal cadavers and how the research department there uh, basically adds so much to the bottom line. They're one of the biggest affiliates in the state. Uh, in the sixth video, technicians, uh, the Holly O'Donnell once again is talking about technicians taking fetal parts without patient consent. She said there were times when they would just take what they wanted and these mothers didn't know and there's no way they would know, right? Like how are you, I mean, you're expecting them to have ethics to say, oh, the mother didn't sign off that she was okay with us taking this baby part. So we'll leave that. Psh, yeah, right. Not when there's a lot of money to be made. Um, and then in the seventh video, Holly O'Donnell describes the harvesting or procurement of these organs and how uh, one of the doctors there was like, you wanna see something cool? And then tapped the heart and had the heart start beating once again. Oh um, yeah, so it just starts beating. And, and that was when she really was like, I gotta get out of here. And then the eighth video, uh, STEM Express CEO Kate Dyer admits Planned Parenthood sells a lot of fully intact aborted babies. They're the volume institution where they're getting all this from. It's like the most disgusting version of the island of Dr. Moreau that you mm -hmm. could come up with. Uh, and this ninth video focuses in on ABR, uh, which was founded in 1989 by CEO Linda Tracy, charges $340 per second trimester fetal tissue specimen, uh, yet seems less concerned about the tissue quality uh, other uh, quality than other harvesting companies. So whenever we have a smooth portion of liver, she says, we think that's good. So, or that's, a, that's Lartan. That, that wasn't attributed to her. So let's go to that first video. Let's play that, and we're going to continue on trudging through this. Ugh. The whole point is not to have a live birth. Oh, okay. And so the, so the doctors have all, unless it's somebody who has had six pregnancies and six vaginal deliveries. And then it just kind of pops yeah, out. <laughs> they put lambs in, and she comes in the next morning. And I uh -huh. literally have had um, women come in, and they'll go to the OR, and they're back out in three minutes. And I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the who put her wow. in the syrups. It just fell out. I'm going, what's going on? Oh, yeah, the fetus was already in the vaginal canal whenever the who put her. Ugh. And, and ABR stands for Advanced Bioscience Resources. So hiding it in plain view, mm -hmm. you know, they're not saying baby harvested ink, but just disgusting the way they do this. And, and this next video talks about how, oh, Guess what? It was the bushes that created the loophole that allowed them to do yeah, this. What a surprise. I a remember surprise. that. I was very young then, but I remember there was this whole uproar about, you know, everyone was really angry about uh, doing this research on these embryonic stem cells. It was all about stem cell, stem cell. And kind of like, look over here and we'll preserve the fetal tissue. Right. Because that's what they really. It's all lawyer talk. Yeah. It's all lawyer talk. It really is. So let's go to that video now. The clinic. Well, because of what we do and because we use fetal tissue, we don't uh -huh. want to, um, we want to be as politically correct as we can. Right, we I know. We don't want a whole lot of people coming <laughs> in and, you know, slapping yeah. us because, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're doing this and you're, you're, yeah. you're getting all these scientific people here then, and they're all agreeing, yeah. you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so. it's kind of counterintuitive, isn't it, right? Like normally, like, embryonic stem cell research are like the big controversial, like yeah, whatever, yeah. and like... And you know what the, <laughs> the really to... <laughs> weird thing is? Embryonic, there's still a lot of controversy about yeah. that, you know? But then fetal kind of got lost in the mix, you know. You have was it ever controversial? I mean, I'm, I'm it was young, never, so I don't know. It was it. never, um, it was never outlawed. Where uh -huh. during the uh, Bush administration, Bush uh -huh. one, Bush one, it was, um, it was no federal funding could go to stem cell research or to embryonic cell research. Uh -huh. The fetal tissue was taken out of that. So we continued to send tissue to people like NIH. Uh -huh. Even though the government was paying for it, fetal tissue weren't put in that little box huh. of embryonic because it's different. Huh. Now they're trying to um, make abortion illegal. And that's where we get our tissue. Now they're trying to make abortion illegal. And that's where we get our tissue. So that's going to, I'm going to be out of a job. I'm not going to be able to harvest babies anymore. Yeah. Uh, well, I think you could call this, this whole section uh, 
George Bush's abortion loophole exposed because they, I don't know if they get enough credit for this. They like to hide behind their, their pro-life stance.